Hey everybody and welcome to A Tatter of Fact here at the Girls Inc. studio in Las Vegas. And today we are stepping outside of PMU and we're doing something a little different. Today I've got three women. They are powerful, strong, successful, graceful women. If you look up the term badass, I think all three of you name, you are yeah. the definition of, ba to me, to me, you're the definition of badass women. Oh, yeah. wow, thank you. So yeah. Laura, Rochelle, Jeanette, thank you for coming on today. It's great to be here. Yeah, I'm super stoked to have you, you guys here. This is the first time like I've really kind of stepped out on my podcast outside of PMU and had personal friends on. So I know you guys are all busy. So thanks for taking the time to do this. Before we start chatting, I wanted to do just a quick little bio, like a little, just super short, so they okay. know who you guys are. Just who, a bit of an introduction. A little yeah. bit of an introduction. Okay. So Lauren, and a lot of people stream us um, rather than going to YouTube and watching us. So Lauren Rochelle, Laura Coates, Rochelle Zerby. You did take was, Mike's. You I, did take Mike's last I name. I did take his name because I, I thought it was a cool name. <laughs> it is a cool so. name. <laughs> and then now at work, nobody calls me Rochelle. They call me Zerby. So they call you Zerby. Yeah. But the funny thing is, is I call my husband Zerby. I think everybody, you guys call him Zerby <laughs> yeah. too. So yeah. Well, don't, you you don't call Mike. I call Mike. You know Mike. Yeah, I call him Mike. He's the only one. I call him Mike. I you have call a couple Mike? Of yeah. too. And he's the guy. Yeah, Laura back has there. a few other names. Yeah, he's the guy back there in the corner and the behind the drums. But you guys are your twin sisters. Yes. Um. Uh, I'm eight minutes older. Eight minutes older. Yeah. You're the boss. We know that. You're trail boss. You trail got, you're boss. the ones who got Kat and I and everybody into quadding. Yeah. So you are yeah. trail boss. We know that. Okay. Laura knows that. Laura I, knows you're I the boss. I am the tail boss. You're, I'm you're the tail one. boss. You think she's more important. I'm the one that makes sure you guys all make the right turns and get to the right place. Yes, you are. When you get lost, the tail boss goes and finds you and gets you back. That's right. Line. Right. So. That's right. And are, are we getting lost because trail boss is leading us down the wrong path? No, she's going Never. too fast. <laughs> and then you guys lose her and then you make a right turn and I got to go get you. <laughs> so but I'll find you. All right. So a little history. Lauren Rochelle, about 15 years old, got into music, yes. started touring the U.S. Yes. You opened for some really big names. I know you asked me to think of who, but it was so long ago. I know Michael Morton Murphy, we opened for, uh, I don't remember a lot of the artists because we're so did old and some of them have already uh, passed away. Uh, so, uh, Chubby Checker. <laughs> Chubby we, Checker? Yeah, there for a little while we thought we were cursed because <laughs> we would like work with someone and then like two weeks later they pass away. It would happen to Tammy Wynette too. Yeah, we Tammy were in Wynette. Wynette. We didn't open for but but we now, now, now they tell me. No. Yeah, sorry Jeanette. Sorry Jeanette. <laughs> sorry, Jeanette. <laughs> But, <laughs> yeah, we know, yeah, we but shared that a little sorry. Bit, a little while ago. But we never opened for expose. We're working on that. Yeah, we're working we're, on that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Goals. <laughs> not at the not goals. that everybody dies goals. after we go. Yeah, yeah, goals. Well, it's all in who you know. It is. It is. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, fifteen <laughs> years old musicians touring the country at fifteen. Yeah. Yeah. Fifteen years old. Yeah. We so we had to. Uh, we actually had to have a legal guardian with us for a long time. Uh, and then our then we became the parents of our legal guardians. So we were like, okay, let's just go on our own. So we wound up in Vegas when we were Eight, seventeen or eighteen, 18 yeah. and playing the casinos, and and we weren't allowed in the casino, so we had to stay backstage or yeah. sit on the stairs. sit on the steps. And that probably knows all about this too. We had to sit on this, you know, typical not of age yet, so it was kind of boring for us. We had to sit backstage, but uh, playing all the casinos, playing cruise ships. Uh, we were on the road one time when we were playing up in uh, North Dakota, noon in North Dakota, and Mike's driving the van and we're driving in snow and ice and he just drifts over to another lane and we're like, let's do a cruise ship in the Bahamas next year for the winter. <laughs> yeah, we did, so, too. I mean, we did cruise ships, we did, you know, lounges, we did clubs, um, everything. everything, you know, that, yeah. that, that, you know, but we weren't playing our own music and it wasn't as covers yeah we we're playing covers right it right wasn't, it wasn't, wasn't as gratifying right. but it was yeah. fun we still have fun i would never change anything in our lives but it was uh uh after a while it got old we didn't we didn't you know 15 years of doing that we didn't want to do it anymore so you got got out of it you settled here in vegas yeah. and you became 
police officers. Yes, we decided to get real jobs. Yeah, yeah, you know, and, and probably for stability and yeah. consistent income, you know, yeah. whatnot. You chose to be uh, police officers. Um, pension, p- pension, <laughs> right? Um, insurance, pension, insurance, insurance. The, yeah, the whole I nine mean, yards. The whole nine yards, and both became sergeants. Yeah. Um, you own a tractor. Yes, we do. Yeah. You built your own house, yes, Laura. I did. Uh, I know you helped Rochelle. Uh, you built your dad's house. Yes. I mean, you weld. You 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 like MacGyver, Rochelle. Is that MacGyver? Uh, that's MacGyver. MacGyver. Ma- MacGyver. You know who <laughs> MacGyver is? Yeah, yeah. yeah MacGyver was making it? fun of your accent. Oh, you making fun of my accent. So anyway, that's a little bit on you guys yeah okay a little bit of background on you guys and then let's go to this uh beautiful lady in the middle we've I got if, i don't know if my badassism can compare to your badassism no. it's di- well know. it's different oh, badass. badass it's different can you weld no can you cook no <laughs> 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 ask, her yeah. she, ask her if she can uh, sing. Can you sing? I try. Yes, <laughs> she can. Oh, yeah. I, I try. I case. try. All yeah. right. So you are Jeanette Gerardo. Yes. You are one of the lead singers of Expose. Correct. So let me. Okay. So all of you listening, if you don't know, most people I think know who Expose is, but we might have some youngins yeah. that do not know. Go to YouTube, Google Expose. So. Expose, you were one of the most popular female music groups ever, depending on what list you look at. Mm-hmm. You're ranked number five on Billboard. On Bill, yeah, yeah. yeah. Most, most most successful female pop groups. I was looking at a couple of lists online, and there's a couple of different lists, and one had you ranked as like fifth. Supremes is number one. Course. You know, and then it's like TLC, um, um, uh, the, the one Beyonce was in. Um, oh, that was God. a country girl. What was what was the in lead Vogue? singer? Destiny's Child. Destiny's Child. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And then on some lists, you're ranked like seventh, eight. So depending on your list, mm-hmm. you were the first music group ever to have four top 10 songs on the Billboard Hot 100 with a debut album. Isn't that crazy? That's crazy. You guys did that. It doesn't even sound like you're talking about us. Yeah, massive, that. massive. Well, that's because you're, you're, you're cool. You're down <laughs> to earth and you're cool and you're humble. I've seen her uh, gold records, by the way. You've seen her gold records, yeah, so they I do know. exist. I think platinum too. Seen the four all. songs from that album were Point of No Return, mm-hmm. Come Go With Me, let me be the one. I think maybe that might have been my favorite. It's a good one. And seasons changed. That actually hit number one. Right. Mm. And you had several other hits as well after that. But four hits, including a number one hit, first group ever to do that. Is I it know. crazy? It's pretty crazy. It it's really. Crazy. I, I'm not kidding when I say it sounds like you're talking about somebody else because I just think it's just Julia Ann and myself. And- yeah, it, it was almost as if it was happening. We didn't realize it was happening. We we're just loving being out there. We we're loving the touring. We we're loving all that stuff. So we weren't paying attention so much to that. I think maybe you guys don't have time, right? I mean, because really you're have time. you're on the road. You're doing interviews. You're cutting records. So you're in much the... at the time too. Right, you know? right. It's just a whole new experience to us. Yeah, um, and you guys had your level of success with music as well yeah, did we get, you we did, got paid i never even asked well. you did you guys ever know our music back then mm-hmm. or were you no, they, like they like five like, no, <laughs> no 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 they did I, not. I, 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 I knew of you guys but we were in the country world and you know laura and i grew up in in south texas and we you know we were listening to Dolly Parton and you know I, I listened to that and, too because huh? I grew up in Maine but I was I a club girl I was a clubber yeah, see, I, never, I was yeah. a hip hop never, dancer we never went to clubs. so you, you knew this stuff oh I, I knew I yeah. knew all your stuff yeah. I knew yeah. every single song every word every lyric every yeah. every I, every the one that I knew uh when we met uh Jeanette was I'll never get over you get oh that's me. my favorite that's, yeah, yeah. Oh, I, I don't know if that crossed over or not but that's the song that I remember back back in the day that's the song that that's I a song like when your boyfriend dumps you yeah, back in the day you, 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 you want to cry that's a song you'd put on yeah. <laughs> yeah. when you like wanted to yeah. cry and you right? get a two-step to it and you and, and you can two-step to it you still have to learn you can two-step to that song yes yeah you're gonna have to show me that I can two-step the point of no return. Right? 